Good day, learners! Today, we are going to learn a new skill that helps us estimate and simplify numbers, rounding numbers to the nearest tens. Rounding helps us make numbers easier to work with when adding, subtracting, or comparing. Shopping with Mama Lisa and her mother went to the market. They bought bananas for 47 pesos and a pack of rice for 63 pesos. Lisa asked Mama, how much did we spend? Mama said, let's round the numbers to make it easier. 47 becomes 50 and 63 becomes 60. Lisa smiled and said, So we spent about 110 pesos? Very good, said Mama. That's rounding. Comprehension check. Where did Lisa and her mother go? How much were the bananas? How much was the pack of rice? Why did Mama round the numbers? What is rounding? Rounding is a way to change a number to a nearer and simpler number that is easier to work with. To round a number to the nearest tens, look at the digit in the ones place. If it is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, round up. If it is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, you should be rounding down. Examples 47. Look at number 7 at one's place. Scene 7 is 5 or more, round up to 50. Example number 2 63 Look at 3 at one's place Since 3 is less than 5, round down to 60 Example number 3 28 Round up to 30 54 Round down to 50. Let's do this. Match the number with its rounded form. Let's do this. Write T if the statement is true and F if false. If the ones digit is 6, round the number up. This is T. 34 rounded to the nearest tens is 30. This is T. 55 rounds down to 50. This is F. 89 rounded to the nearest tens is 90. This is T. Rounding makes numbers harder to use. This is F. Let's do this. Round the following numbers to the nearest tens.
44, rounding to 40. 56, rounding to 60. 11, rounding to 10. 78, rounding to 80. 29, rounding to 30. Always remember, when we round numbers to the nearest tens, we look at the ones place. If it is 5 or more, we round up. If it is 4 or less, we round down. Let's do this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Thank you for watching till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.